Hey everybody, today is April 30th and it has been quite a while since I did my last update. And the reason for that was because uh, if you've seen the last video, I had a, a big frost problem. Uh, I was too anxious to put the plants outside and when I did that too early, frost came around and almost destroyed everything. And then after it, the plants recovered, I had an aphids infestation that set the plants back even further. So it seems as though like every year there's something that set me back for a bit but then I find my ways and work through it and then at the end of the season hopefully <laughs> everything would be fine. But um, today I have a pretty decent update to show you guys. The plants are recovering very well. The frost did some damage but they're coming back. The aphids did some damage as well but the plants are making it. So these guys are tough, so I'll, I'll go around and show you what I have. The first plant here is my Ahi Habanero Overwinter from last year. This is a very tough plant because I didn't even bring it indoor or anything like that. I wrapped it up in paper, uh, I wrapped it up in plastic bags and left it out here all winter. I mean, Texas, it doesn't get too cold, especially this year. We didn't get too much um, below 30, so here it is this guy is just thriving and just looking beautiful and look at these fruits I mean he's really early and so what I did was uh, after when I overwintered this I cut the plant back pretty well I mean if you watch my previous videos you see what it looks like but now it's blooming like crazy the flowers are really beautiful check this out it's very large I mean it's bigger than last year I would say and look at all these fruits they're beautiful fruits and uh, Dave if you're watching this this is the one you tried last year and you really like so um, I will be sending you some this year if you like some and look at the flowers on this very beautiful flowers but fruits everywhere right now um, on a very small plant so I'm very happy about this guy okay so let's go on to the rest of them Okay, we'll start over here. My Jamaican Scotch Bonnet, uh, in the last video, this guy looks terrible. It was completely destroyed by frost and now it's making its way back and it's even budding already. So I think I may, I'm going to pluck all of this off and allow it to continue to grow. See, if you let it bloom, it will stop growing. So I don't want this to, to fruit yet because he may be the guy <laughs> I'm entering in the contest. So, so there is a bloom right there. I'm just gonna pluck the whole thing off and you don't have to do this because it's quite drastic but it's it's tougher to pluck the plant off I'll just pluck the top and let it grow out so I, that's what I took off and I'm gonna do this one too I think that should be it Okay, and hopefully that will uh, set it back and put it back into growth. And that's the other small one that's not doing too well. Overwinter ghost, look at that, fruiting too. Too small, I'm gonna pluck that off right here. And I don't recommend doing this, but I do that every year and it's fine. And then here's my Bahamian goat over winter. I think it's also fruiting, so I'll, I'll work with those guys in a bit. And this is the Butch T times Reaper, and that's my overwinter um, Pekin. And then a few of the fruits of the Pekin dropped last year, and those guys came out. I might just leave them there. And here is the orange ricotta. Didn't do anything last year. I thought it died, but it's back. And then this one here is the Butch T Tons Reaper. And then I cut the top and grafted a Jamaican Scotch bonnet to the top. I thought it was going to die, but look, it's growing. So this is going to be a very interesting plant. Look at that, it's already fruiting. I'm going to pull the buds off this guy. So it's fruiting everywhere. I might just pluck a few off, but I'll do that after. Here is what I will be transplanting outside today. This guy's just way overdue. And this is the bleeding borgnine. I was gonna wait to transfer it somewhere else, but it's just so root bounded that it's just struggling like crazy. The leaves are not doing well because 
it's it, when your roots are like this it cannot take up the nutrients the plant need so it will start to suffer don't don't let your plants get like this transferred earlier than this much earlier okay and here those two are my my cross that is the MOA times Brazilian goes red I'm very excited to see what those guys look like this year this is my other cross the stargazer two of them and this guy is having funny looking leaves and that one's fine it grows very weird very unique looking leaves purple stem wrinkled leaves I don't know if the wrinkle is deficient or not but I'm gonna transplant that and hopefully it fix everything okay next up is the rest of the plant and as you can see it is recovering very very well this guy is ridiculous right now um, there are actually two of them because I ran out of buckets this is my MOA scotch bonnet looking beautiful probably the best plants out of all of these guys looking very nice look at their buds right there so I'm just gonna let this guy bud and here is my propagated reaper that I transplanted last time it's basically a branch taken off of the plant last year and I propagated it Brazilian goes those are the branches as well of the previous tree look at this funky looking reaper it is a reaper I know that because I took it off a reaper plant from last year alright ahi pineapple was suffering but it's coming back look at my moringa and this one is a seven pot bubblegum looking very very nice butch tetons reaper making an awesome comeback if you look if you watch these guys on my previous video they look nothing like they do today and that's my MA vortex Jay's peach goes I thought he was gonna die but he's doing just fine he's growing from the bottom so guys if you have plant damage as well, as long as the trunk is still green and there's a node left the node will eventually turn into branches so take care of it and it will come back so each of these each leaf is basically a node if you pull up the leaves there's a little shoot that will shoot to the side of it those are the nodes that will come back so if you take care of it they will come back and I will show you uh, a plant that did that in a bit okay that's my chocolate bula I traded these for um, see I traded these seeds from with a friend so I don't know what it's gonna turn out like but very excited about him and here's another MA Vortex looking good sugar rush man this is already budding look at that I might have to pull that off these guys were really damaged last time the shoots are coming back looking good it's just I don't want these guys to bud yet so I might have to pull those off and here it is the grafted white devil's tail look at that let's cut make an amazing comeback remember this guy if you watched this guy in the last video I pulled him out because I thought he was gonna die but then I saw that the plant were still green at the trunk so I put him back and there it is it's growing so watch the last video and you see what happened amazing pepper plant it's just refuses to die and here's my Carolina Reaper two of them not looking good but it's making a comeback so we'll see then there's the Jay's Red this guy was infested with aphids I treated it and it's making its way back looking good this one too was crazy aphids with, was everywhere look at this fruiting already I'm just pulling it I'm just gonna pull this off I might pull all of them off it's just I don't want it to stop growing okay and then this one here is uh, another Jay's Red was infested with aphids too I treated it look at that these guys are just budding everywhere and then the seven pot bubblegum and then I have a few more here it is this is the Jay's Peach Ghost times Chocolate Ghost I transfer these guys out much later it's looking good and then this is the white Labuyo I didn't top these two so I'm just gonna leave it I mean you don't have to top your plants if you provide it with really good lights outside it will grow much stronger and the shoot will grow to the side but the only thing with uh, not topping it is that it may become very top heavy and then you might have to stake it up um, the reason I top all my plants is because I love the way the trunk looks when it recovers 
and how thick it is and how strong it is but it does set your plant back and also because I grow this in, indoor before I put it outside much earlier that's why I have to top to, to sort of like set it back and then here's my chocolate scotch bonnet look at this fruits already and this guy was grown indoor and it was fruiting already by the time I put it out here so I just let it go so guys if you want your plants to grow nice and large like the plants I have in last season you have to remove these buds because once they start budding they don't grow anymore they will continue to put all of their energy through fruiting and so it, the plants will not be as big so that's the reason why I always cut these all off and just allow it to, to fruit fully and then once it gets to the size where it wants to produce fruit then the plants it will be humongous also the reason why your plants fruit so early is because the containers are small as soon as the roots reach the wall of the container and it has nowhere else to go it'll send signal back to the plant to say okay they're ready to fruit so larger container will help and then here's my last one this is the Jay's Peach Ghost Times Chocolate Ghost and it's looking good so there you have it guys my plants are recovering and doing great so it looks like my season has not ended after all so keep following me I will be doing more updates every two weeks thank you for watching and please like comment and subscribe